This may look like a scene from roughing it in the mountains, but it's actually how some people have managed to secure accommodations for Barack Obama's inauguration. We're in graduate programs, so we're both college students up in Ohio, and camping was kind of the only way that we were going to be able to come do this. So Heather Redmond and Dan Kellerman drove in from Ohio to stay at the Cherry Hill Campground in College Park, Maryland. It's a little cold, but um, <laughs> we're managing. At $40 a night for campsites and $55 a night for RVs, it's also very affordable. Still, campground owner Linda Gorelovic says having this many people in January is unprecedented. The campground has been in our family for four generations and no inauguration has been like this. 25 people were camping here for the Clinton inauguration in 94 and we have over a thousand people here for this inauguration for Obama. <laughs> Large crowds and cold temperatures have not cooled the enthusiasm. There is not a sad camper in the bunch. Um, people are coming in energized. They don't care about the cold. They don't care that they can't uh, get propane at their site. Um, things are breaking, but everyone's happy. Yeah, it's neat just being, you know, around everybody that's traveling from different places. Florida, Mississippi, um, New Mexico, California. All over. New Jersey. <laughs> for Heather and Dan, the journey and adventure has been well worth it. We wouldn't miss Why? it for the world. Just, you know, being here, being part of everything, it's something that we're going to remember for our whole lives. <laughs> These are the times that define our generation, I think, and to be a part of it is priceless. Callie Carlin for CBSNews.com.